Some breaking coronavirus news at this hour. A major decision today made by the Mid-American Conference, and it could set off a domino effect all across the country. The conference has postponed all fall sports, including football, and now the hope is to play in the spring. Jordan Strack with more on this. Yeah, there is no question that today's news is an absolute bombshell for college athletics. The decision from the Mid-American Conference quickly became national news. Now, moving football and all sports, for that matter, to the spring is no easy task, but for many, this move was a no-brainer. We talked about spring sports always being an option, and so I'm not so sure it turned at any specific day or time. Um, I'm, and I'm also, I've used the term somewhat, is inevitable. I'm not so sure this is a surprise, to be very honest. Still, none of that makes this any easier. These decisions affect thousands of student athletes across the country. MAC Commissioner John Steinbrecher was clearly emotional as the news came out. I'm, I'm crushed by this decision. I am, um, uh, I am so disappointed. Um, gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it, it's just crushing that we can't, um, facilitate the opportunities this fall because of circumstances around us. The reality is that financially this is devastating for every school involved. Speculation will run rampant that this was done for financial reasons, but everyone involved says that the athletes health and well being was at the forefront of the decisions. From day one, no matter the issue, we always talk about the, the uh, health and well being of our student athletes, and that did not vary from this discussion. We got a statement from BGSU Director of Athletics Bob Moosebrugger. It says BGSU fully supports the decision made by the MAC Council of Presidents. This has been an extremely difficult decision to make. Our student athletes and coaches want to compete. Our fans and alumni want to cheer us on. However, as we have often said, health and safety is the utmost priority. This decision confirms our priority and our leadership within intercollegiate athletics. Right now, there is no timeline for how the spring will look. The next decisions to come will involve winter sports and whether or not they can even happen in 2020. Reporting tonight, Jordan Strack, WTOL 11. All right, Jordan, thanks so much. Following the announcement from the MAC, UT students and area residents reacted to the decision. Although many Rockets are disappointed tonight, the students we spoke to agree with the conference's decision to postpone the season. They say the first priority should be to protect the health of student athletes as well as everyone on campus. Even if you're in an empty stadium, the student athletes are still at risk and and I'm not sure it's worth that risk. With the excitement that gets into you, you kind of want to be around your friends, you want to take pictures and everything. And at that point, you kind of forget to use a mask and stuff like that. So I feel like that's not when people would be thinking the most cautiously. I think that this is the right thing to do. And I, but, but they're retaining their eligibility for uh, the NCAA. So I think that'll keep some players around. The University of Toledo will start fall semester classes on August 17th.